This morning, one home is destroyed after a fire blazed through Emmett. In total, 20 acres are burned. KBY 2's Lauren Clark joins us now to tell us why things, though, could have been worse. Lauren. Well, Kelsey and Brian, you can see this very obvious burn scar behind me here. That smoky aroma still in the air. But here's the very unusual thing about this specific fire. As you can see, there's this kind of scorched area right here. But then over to my right over here is just completely untouched. And there's another one onto the side just like it. And that's because firefighters got very lucky. The canal, which is just right here, was surrounding it on one side and then the highway above it. So they were able to pinch in the fire and enclose it to make sure that it was contained rather quickly. Now, a viewer, a viewer sent us this photo, which shows crews battling what's now dubbed the old freeze out fire. As you can see here, crews used retardant on each of the flanks. Both BLM and Jim County arrived on scene around 2 p.m. between mile marker 11 and 12. It took two engine crews, two dozers, a water tender, air attacks, seat planes, and even a helicopter in order to fight this one. The flames are quickly under control, but not before a fire consumed a home and a shed. But here's the good news. No one was inside and those properties were not full time residents. They were used for storage and no crews members who were fighting this fire were hurt either. Now, right now they do think that this fire was human made and caused, but they haven't found the source of ignition for that. They are very thankful, though, that they were able to get this fire out quickly, that it didn't spread to any other homes or even into town. So this is a very good uh, victory for the BLM crews here this morning. Reporting live here in Emmett, Lauren Clark, KBY 2 News.